What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Pyrotechnic Plays Nocturne Rebirth. Alright, let's not... Let's not mess around here. Alright. <clears throat> How you doing? What are you doing? Alright. Let's... Let's do this. Alright. What are you guard? So good though. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, that is the stuff, man. I don't make it. I don't do that like these. Alright. Oh, so let's see. That was level 20. Okay. Alright, alright. Well, there's nothing else that I can do. That's really good, right? He's. Yeah, he's there. But I got, I got my little special uh, ant lion there, which will allow me to reset his skills if things go aru. <clears throat> uh, did I fill up already? No, I need to get by two yellow potions real quick. Okay, I already checked for chaos. Nothing I can do with chaos. You're never ever gonna have your new weapons. You're gonna wait till I. Beat the game and don't need them anymore. Is there anything I can sell? I should be good. Uh, I should, let's get the heck out of me. Alright, for real this time. Canals ruins. I think I got the skills I want to use. Clear level 20. Said I needed. 
Alright then. Thank you, bug frag. Oh my god. Nah, I have to fight. Damn it. I was like, I don't need experience at all. I did. I'm fine. magic but for everything man these guys hit so hard it's lightning and I said my
I'm gonna get test off wind as well. <laughs> Let us carry on. Anybody else see our life? Okay. Douche! Yeah, how about that? The AFO. Come on, where's the sweet biscuit at? Give me the biscuit. You bastard. Where's the door? Give me what I require. Oh shit! There was. I was celebrated by killing these people. Alright, I didn't mean to press that. Alright. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Alright, then you can have some pies. Oh, I can do more. Right. Delicious. Here, have some. Have some of that. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. I was up in that way. I don't want to shy away from the battle now because then I need the experience now because I, I blew through it all hunky dorily. Diddly doodly. Look at them chest. I want them chest. Give me them chest. You son of a bitch. You'll give me what I desire. Listen here, you son of a bitch. I didn't mean to do that. I would have had it up to here when you were shenanigans. I guard it again. I'm just gonna guard it. Alright, alright. Listen here, you. You sit down. And you, you. You quit being a cat. You're a cat. You're a fucking cat. Listen, whatever you do, don't hit me. I'm alert. I'll give me a cat scratch. Get out. Stop. I can't even hit you. Listen, quit being a cat. Damn cats. Uh, you can't even do it. What you goofy. Alright, I don't have a thing. I'm supposed to do some stuff, but doesn't. Tell you a secret. 
Yeah, he was so dead. I should probably get fire out of there completely. I just don't need fire. So what? Ice and lightning? Who knows? Let's just try to fight the real boss first before we even... Damn it, I just want to progress, but I gotta keep y'all around. Back to the village for now. What the fuck? What? Mm. Uh, it's bright outside already? Oh no. I think I overslept a little. Oh, I'm the Luna. Om nom nom! Om nom nom! Om nom nom! Om nom. Thank you for the meal. You're welcome, Luna. What's the matter with you today, anyway? You woke up rather late. I was just busy with something. At least I know how to wake up on my own, though. <laughs> well, I wonder. Who's the one that kept saying things like, Give me another ten minutes and whatnot for four hours? Um, you don't have to put it like that. Uh, come to think of it, where's Mr. Evial? He went somewhere earlier in the afternoon. He probably went out of the village. Oh, right. <sighs> that aside, aren't you supposed to go to Mr. Rosh's place today? Ah, oh, yes. Today's the day for my spear training. Rosh, Rosh. Who knows what it is. I'll be going then. Don't be too willful, you hear? It's for your own good. Yes, I get it. Alright, 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 alright. Oh yeah. Where am I going now? <laughs> items. I have all my items. So I guess I better stock up. Yeah, but you're never gonna get them. You just tell me you are. Alright, so can I change your stuff yet? Like... I was just like, no, you can't. <laughs> Offers temporary peace of mind. Okay. Where am I going? I'm supposed to attend- Ah, oh, Mr. Roche. Mr. Roche. Mr. Roche a dose. I'm just kidding. Mr. Roche looks like he's busy with some work. Oh, Luna! Ah, good afternoon, ma'am. Oh, right. Today is the day for your training, isn't it? I'm very sorry, but my husband can't attend to you right now, even though you must be looking forward to the training. He, tend to, he tends to always be preoccupied with work, after all. He's not a blacksmith. No, it's, it's okay. At any rate, I was the one who forced him to train me. Well, I'll just go for a stroll nearby until Mr. Roche is done with his work. Well, about that. I don't think you have finished his work today. Uh, why? He's most likely tempering Vian's sword right now. Vian. Let's sit down and talk about this while having some tea, shall we? It'll be quite a long story. Oh god, here we go. I do love tea. Tea is good. Give me some of that. Now then, where should I begin? Oh, she's like, oh god! Oh yes. Let's talk about the Revolutionary War eight years ago. You know about it, right? Ah, uh, yes. The war was so great that it affected even this village. Well, 
Vienne was clo Vienne was a close kin of ours who participated in the Revolutionary War. So that means Vienne was Mr. Roche and Madame Millfield's Yes, she was our one and only precious daughter. But my husband has been filled with remorse. He regrets not stopping Vianne from going to war. Fighting monsters is different from fighting people. My husband was well aware of that, but he did not pay heed to it. Had he stopped her and had he not forged any sword in the first place, Vianne would probably not have died. But... But I heard that revolution was necessary. Gilbard, the ruler of our nation back then, was a mad ruler. Had the Revolutionary War not occurred, the entire nation would have collapsed eventually. You're right, but in that war many lives were taken. They include the lives of those who took up their swords for the future, that they were all idealistic about the, in the lives of those who took up their shields to protect their loved ones. The revolution was a bloodbath. Blood my husband has always wondered whether there was any alternative to the revolution. In the end, Vian was killed by a sword forged by him. No way! That's just too cruel. It's the reason why my husband stopped forging swords. After the Revolutionary War ended, he closed his shop and came to this village with me. He dished his role as a sword blacksmith and became no more than a blacksmith who forges hardware. So that's... What happened? The Mr. Roches. He no longer forges or tempers tools capable of murder, and he has rejected all requests to forge or temper any of those tools, including swords. But now he is once again tempering a sword. I have no idea what he's thinking, nor do I know what he hopes to achieve by doing that. I'm sure Mr. Roches. Is... is he making me the ultimate sword? Like, yeah, uh, uh, uh. Alright, thank you guys for watching. It is a pleasure to be playing this game. I I love this game. This game is great. Uh, the creators who made it, you guys did fantastic jobs. This is a beautiful game. Uh, it's definitely one of the best 2D games I've ever played, period. One of the best RPG games I've ever played, period. It's just really fucking good, and I really fucking love it. Uh, so anyway... Press like if you liked it, comment if you have something to say about the game, or if you just want to say hi, and uh, hit the bell so you know when I make videos, and subscribe. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys when I make another one.